Well, just a quick video about Wibwob and non Wibwob. Just a few views on it really. I've been playing non Wibwob for a few years now. I prefer it much more than Wibwob Tactics. You, I'm, I'm sure if you play CMO 102 you're familiar with tactics like Iodine and a lot of other ones. That Wibwob Tactics are just rump leagues and you can play a, pretty much a team of donkeys and because the tactics so exploitative towards a match engine you're going to romp every game 4 or 5 nil every week. Um, I kind of got bored with that a couple of years ago, so I started only playing non -wib Um I know a lot of people on the on the forum are only playing non -wib Bob now because it makes you think more about the, about what you're doing. Um, obviously, it's better. It makes you feel like you're actually managing because you you can make in-game changes during the match where Wibwob's already got all its preset, where it's already got all its Wibwobbing going on here with the with and without ball. So that's one thing I do prefer. Obviously, as well for long-term games. Playing non -wib -wib. Um it takes longer to get to the top. It takes longer for you to win Champions League after Champions League. Um, like, don't get me wrong, like most non -wib -wib games, I still dominate eventually, but it takes a lot longer. And uh, I, I just find it much more enjoyment, <laughs> enjoy, um, sorry, uh, much more enjoyment from it, from doing it that way. Also, as well, I just with non -wib -wib as well, there isn't. I just the way the game is played with non -wib -wib, if you wanted to make tactical changes with it, because the, because the formation, a lot of people just download download a tactic like iodine and just use it, or they edit the iodine tactic, or they edit they edit tactics which are completely uh, that completely break the AR, the match engine, and uh, so you're not really making any changes during games. The only thing you're doing is just making sure your squads squads in good condition, good happiness, and uh, you're just bringing in <laughs> loads of freak players which are going to bang in loads of goals and get loads of assists for you in a in a, in a crazy formation so yeah it's kind of why I started to use non with I, I just I've had some really good loads on it um, uh, I don't think I've ever been sacked non with Bob but I've had times where I've just like never really dominated after many years or just couldn't get the players in in certain positions which I know would have took me up to the next level which on, on a tactic or something but, but I think with with Bob you can get away with that more like you could have a really crappy like wing back who's just really quick but uh the just the way the web wob works you you would just you would still be rumping teams every week. Um non web wob's a bit different to that because you don't have the advantages of overloading defensively in a, and uh, in an attacking sense without getting a match engine penalties for doing so. Like the <coughs> the way <coughs> the way web wob does it is that basically you can if you're for example if you're using the the without ball this is what you can't do with non-wind wob. You can literally just park the bus here, but then at the same time, you can just overload offensively with the same tactic. I'm not saying this works, but I'm just using it as an example. This is one thing you can't do with non-wind wob. You can just, especially if you're playing on high press, you can just do things like that with non-wind or with a uh, wob. It's just going to make sure you can do that, which you can't do with a uh, wind wob with non wibble All you can do is use arrows, but if you're using an arrow, it's going to affect everything else they do. In a defensive sense and a forward sense, but it doesn't on with what because you can just pretty much just overload any area you want on any screen. So just make sure you've got more players in the AI and any screen. So you're just pretty much overloading the AI on every part of the match engine. So yeah, that's why I don't use it. It's the only thing I will say about non Wibob, what the AI does have an advantage with. Like I don't know if, if you remember with the original game, it would always play Totti on the left, uh, cutting in. That's because it can see, uh, obviously, the hidden attributes of the players, so it will know Totti can play a free role, something the human eye can't see, So, um, because it doesn't show on the interface. Obviously, it's there in the data, but you, you can't see it because it would only show Totti as like a forward centre or an attacking midfielder, forward left or whatever, but you wouldn't know that, uh, you wouldn't think about playing it, but the AI would. So the AI would maximise that position, for instance, or how to use Totti, which you'd which is probably the only advantage the AI ever get, but I still think it's worth playing non wib for that case because uh, you get to learn your players over many seasons anyway. So, uh, yeah, that's about it really. I just wanted to get it, to kind of give my thoughts on it. Anyway, take care. Bye.